So, uh, it's first 10 days of October have gone by. We're in the yoga mat, finding peace in this place, in the river. And turning our back, we're facing the river. Contrary to the synagogue prayers who are facing Jerusalem, we're facing the river. Because the river is a metaphor for life. You can't step in it twice. Uh, it continues to flow, watching the fish swimming. And it's wonderful to be in the water. I wouldn't recommend going in this river, though. It's very polluted. But um, closest have come to India. So I've been watching Netflix a lot, and it's been making me very angry because some of the shows are really stupid. And they're very sexist and they're very just they try to be liberal but they're not liberal at all and it's just a waste of time sometimes as well as the British shows it seems sex sells and there's nothing really of values there's no values except yesterday I saw a film uh, Mr. by Mr. Rogers I actually remember watching him as a child uh, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood and the documentary, I think, is called Won't You Be My Neighbor? And it's about a man who made a revolution in public uh, broadcasting system, decided the children deserve quality TV, contrary to what Harry and Meghan are <laughs> thinking to offer. It, he was able to do that because he was a quality person that had values. He wanted to be minister, and then he actually, I think he did that. He went back and got ordained as a minister. And I think it's very much like the psychologist Rogers, the same family name, that is uh, one of my favorite psychologists, a school of psychology, which is humanistic. And it's the sort of psychology school where the therapist actually recognizes the client as a, as a person of importance. Self-esteem movement is very important especially for children, because that's the age where you want them to feel good about themselves. And then there were criticism about him because, you know, they said they set, he set kids up because they're not really special and they feel entitled. That's bullshit. Feeling that you're important is never a bad thing. Feeling that you have more rights than other people is not a good thing. But thinking that you're an important person and you can make a difference in life is, is, is the building blocks of, of, of a human being who, who is good for society because you need to be feeling important. Mm. And then it said that people um, were angry at him because he was respectful of gay people and he was respectful of, of everybody. I don't know if you can do that, but my my thoughts about it do you really want everybody to be your neighbor because my feeling is no but the way he was able to he came in a very important time in american um history like the 60s where there was segregation and of course then people you know the separation between black and white is like horrific separation segregation of any type is disgusting so that i I think he made a revolution, a quiet, beautiful revolution. It was a Vietnam War, and he got funding for making a TV show that was like full of hope and peaceful values. When a time where there was a horrific war going on, it cost also not only a lot of money but people's lives, a lot of American lives. Um, this he's the anti Donald Trump. He's the anti Donald Trump, Don, uh, Mr. Rogers, and his whole. I think it's wonderful what he did, but I think television is not that good for kids. I think it's better to not expose kids to screens at all. But he, he, I think he didn't like TV, but he just said, well, we, if we have it, let's use it the right way. You know, kids are going to be watching TV. Make sure they watch the right kind of shows, not the kind of shows that Tarantino was watching, obviously, when he made his films. Not violent content, not silly stuff, but stuff of values. It was like before Sesame Street. And it influenced a lot of TV shows. Even in Israel, we have very nice children's shows that I really like and I'm inspired by. I think this is a place I would have liked to be. I would have liked to be in a place that I could influence children uh, the way they think more than just small kindergarten in which I work. But 
you get to influence millions and millions of children by telling them that they're special and that they should accept themselves as they are. Problem is when they get to be teenagers, everything gets completely forgotten. All the beautiful messages of childhood get forgotten. And I just think maybe the best thing is to get kids away from social media, away from the screens. Probably the healthiest thing you can do, <coughs> or at least minimize it, and just use social media for certain very focused goals, whether it's education or connecting with family and friends. Maybe making new friends. Yeah, that's okay, but not excessive. Not excessive. It's nice that the world is a big village and we're all neighbors in it, really, but are we? And do we really want to be neighbors to everybody? Are there some people we need to get away with from? And messages definitely. Kids nowadays need to also be aware of how dangerous the internet can be. Not only from obvious reasons, from all kinds of pedophiles, but from just people that have shitty values, that don't have values. So like, oh, there's the ducks flying. Um, he said that we all in Tikkun Olam, we're trying to repair the world. And it's such, maybe today I was a bit angry. And I saw this religious people standing there and praying the man ahead. And I thought, why am I not, as a woman, more being offered a more prominent place in society? Because I think that influences everything. It influences the family and it influences gender roles in society, workplaces, everything. And maybe Mr. Rogers didn't speak a lot about it because he was a man, but we need a Mrs. Rogers. We need somebody to speak about how important it is to for girls. I think there was also a show about that by a woman. I forgot her name at the moment. But it's important to know that little girls should know that they're valued and appreciated. And you don't have to be transgender. You can be a girl and be important. And you can roll boats as a girl too. This is a man. But a girl can do everything a boy can do. Really, they can. And to, you know, it's not just the message, but to really believe that and to really show that in your daily life and your family life. So I think in my family life, I really didn't see that, actually. My mother worked as a kindergarten teacher. She wasn't happy with her job, clearly. And I 